pairs. So, uh, so why, uh, why don't we just use accuracy? Right? You could define accuracy in terms of these numbers. So accuracy would be how many things did we correctly retrieve or not retrieve over the total number of things in your data set. And the way that you would define that is you would take the true positives, right, things that you retrieved correctly, plus the true negatives. These are things that documents that you didn't retrieve and they were not relevant, so you didn't retrieve them correctly, right? Uh, and then just divide it by the total number of things in your corpus. So that's true positives plus false positives plus false negatives plus true negatives. Uh, so uh, that would be the accuracy, or you could use the error, which is just one minus accuracy. So why is that not uh, a good uh, measure of retrieval? And the reason for that is information retrieval is a very, um, um, it, it, if you look at it from a classification standpoint, the classes are very imbalanced, right? So the number of documents that are relevant for any query, any query that you come up with, it may have 10 relevant documents, 100 relevant documents, maybe 1,000 relevant documents. That is a tiny, tiny drop compared to the total number of documents in the system, right? So the total number of documents is billions, and you're talking about 100 relevant ones. That's a drop in the bucket. So if you just measure accuracy, your accuracy would always be a ridiculously high number no matter what your search algorithm is. So whatever you try to find, you'll always get accuracy that's about 99.999, right? as long as you don't retrieve too much stuff. <clears throat> now, um, so that's one reason why it's, the numbers are really nonsensical, because most of the stuff is non-relevant. Uh, and um, another reason is accuracy really puts the wrong balance on the positives and negatives in your system. So let me give you an example. So suppose I have a set, this is my set of documents, and, and the, uh, the green ones are the relevant ones, and the red ones are the non-relevant ones, right? So let's say I have one system, a system that works hard at differentiating the relevant ones from the non-relevant ones, and maybe it does something like that, right? So it takes that as the retrieved set, that's the set that goes to the user, right? And that stuff is not retrieved, right? <clears throat> okay, so, so, so that's my one system. And then I have another system that doesn't retrieve anything. It retrieves nothing. So all of these are not retrieved. Now, which one of these two strategies has higher accuracy? I'm sorry? This one, right? And if you're not convinced of that, just count the errors, right? They retrieve nothing. That has a certain number of errors. Now, what are the errors? So every one of the R's, it should have retrieved, but it didn't, right? So it made three errors. So the error would be three out of however many I have here total. This other strategy retrieves all of the relevant ones, but it also happens to retrieve four non-relevant ones. So the total number of errors in the top strategy is four. And in the bottom strategy is three. So according to accuracy, this system is better than that system. And which system would you prefer as the user? Okay, right. I'll stop here. Uh, we'll talk more about metrics in the next lecture.